We are back everyone and we're going to be jumping into the flames today. We're going to be doing a little airport fire and rescues. The first time I have ever done this, so you don't want to miss it. We'll check it out see what it's all about. We already have a call going. It's going to be a fire in the main terminal. Uh, let's check it out real fast. Let's see. Yeah, structure fire main terminal box 140. Let's uh, take that call and exit out of you. Exit out of that and we'll get headlights with H and lights with L. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go plane side with this piece of equipment. I don't think we can make entry from the uh, ramp. I think we have to go in the parking lot side to do it, but we'll see. We'll respond with them anyway. We're not going to run sirens. I don't think we really need that. Uh, well, at least we have some good lighting here. I mean, you know how Spur is always uh, really big on good lighting, good scene lighting. Man, that thing does have some lights on it. Yeah, I've done this map before in the past, but I had issues getting some of the calls to pop. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's been fixed, or I really don't know, like, what the status of this map is at all. Alright, uh, parking lot side looks nice, though. Man, that's a nice looking airport, and it looks like we have a connection on the wall here, too. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll go with that. Uh, let's hop out. Let's get our air pack and let's go inside and see what's going on. Grab a Halligan too. There we go. As soon as I don't take a Halligan, the door will be uh, the door will be locked. Uh, someone even made comment to that. I was like, you take Halligan, the door uh, will be unlocked. If you don't take a Halligan, the door will be locked. So we're going to take a Halligan, and it looks like it's going to be down here, first floor behind the agent's desk. We'll see. Uh, let's force it open. Yeah, let's force it. Come on. Open up. Open says me. There we go. Took a minute. Uh, Yeah, I don't see any flames in there. I see a lot of smoke, but I don't see any flames. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's check out the uh, the flight schedule here. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's really detailed. I like this a lot. Oh, of course, that one's just open. And is there any more? So we got flames in there. Uh, let's see, you got flights to Paris, Barcelona. Oh, it changes too. That's cool. Las Vegas, Chicago, Frankfurt, Rome, Berlin. Nice. Okay. All right, we'll pop this door real fast. That was super easy. Okay, yeah, they got a bunch of stuff down there, like cargo and stuff. We got fire through the uh, floor on the second floor. I think we'll try to get to that door. All right, let's, uh, we're going to have to bring another engine, put them on the hydrant, and get a water supply established. Let's drop this guy right here. And, oh, there's our hydrant right there. Blue top, too, so hopefully that's going to be a good supply for us. All right, of course, we got a boost off of it. Grab pressure booster. And we'll hook this guy up right there. We'll get uh, intake. Passenger intake, we'll run him over to it. And then we'll do large diameter. Oops, not that one. Down a little bit further. Large diameter five. Discharge. Go to that side. And now we need to turn it on. Tools hydrant wrench. Sweet. We should have water. Okay, yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and get all this going. See how much we got. Hopefully it's a lot. Pump panel. We're going to do tank fill. We're not going to worry about doing a tank to pump. Not coming off the hydrant. 700, nice. That's a good one. I think we're going to need it. All right, let's open up the other one. 700 as well. Cool. All right. Um, Now we need to get uh, a supply, run it down here to the hydrant, and then we should be good to go. We'll grab that real fast. We did tank fill, and we got 1,400 coming in. That looks good. Let's do... Uh, actually, we got to go back to connections. Let's do connections... Uh, small discharge, we'll do combination. And we should be good with this. Let's just run it over here to the front and we'll drop him down. Nice. All right, we got water. Let's drop this guy right here and let's go into command menu. We'll drop that with J. Let's go to command menu. Did we establish command? I don't think we did. All right, yeah, let's establish command. Let's upgrade the alarm. We're going to do maybe like four. Something like that's going to be second, third, fourth. 
And we'll exit out of you. All right, now let's grab a command and we'll put down some AI. Let's get a good overhead bird's eye look. And of course, you know we need some scene lights too. We really just do. We'll see about that in a second. Let's do a primary search. We'll do that. We've got, uh, what, eight? Too far away from the emergency, really? Maybe it's because we're too far. Let's go back a little closer here. Now let's try it. There we go. We were just too far back with the camera. Okay. All right. Uh, primary search. Let's do that. Uh, let's do demolition team. Let's do saw team. And what else? Uh, you know what? Let's do a hazardous material team as well, too. I know we don't have all the equipment here, but we'll pretend like we do. All right. I think that's good. We'll let these guys do their thing. And we'll exit out. Exit out of you. And... We still got three units left too, so that's good. Hit in and get out of that. I was going to do some scene lights, but it's daytime already, so we can't, unfortunately. Open M2A to see if we got water. Yes, we do. All right, we got water. Yeah, we'll just take the hand line in. I can't get the uh, the hose pack to work in there for some reason. I'm not sure. Could very well be something with a map. Could be something I'm doing. I don't know. All right, let's crouch down, get our mask going, and let's hit it. Good fire though, man. There's a lot of fire in there. It's well involved. That first person. What is in there? Oh, there's a forklift and stuff. Okay. Yeah, man, this is a good fire. Dang. Oh, we got people in here too. Nice. We've got victims. We'll get it. We'll get to you in a second, buddy. We gotta get these fires out in here. <laughs> we gotta get you put out first before we can help you. We'll see. We'll keep it simple. And yeah, this is really, this is a big fire. We may need some AI for this, to be honest. Like, this is a lot of fires in here. We got some fires in here as well involved. Yeah, I think the airport map's kind of uh, one of the aspects of the game that's kind of overlooked. I haven't seen much about it, but I know I've had people request it a few times, so. Uh, we'll kind of experiment with it a little bit. This is one of the calls that I knew worked for sure. I have come across some other calls that I couldn't get them to do anything. So I, maybe that's changed. Maybe I need to look at it some more. I'm not really sure. You know, the other day, uh, my last video I did, uh, when we were doing the EMS calls, we were loading people on the stretcher and it wasn't showing a visual for the loading. Like the person would just disappear. And I did get a DM from the dev and he said that, that was a bug and he's working on fixing it. So that's cool. We'll, uh, we'll be able to see the people on the stretchers again if you like doing that kind of stuff. So always awesome. He's very interactive uh, with what I'm doing and stuff like that. So I really do appreciate that. All right, let's get this one out. We got someone on the ceiling here. We get that guy out. All right, we got that side taken care of. Let's go down here. Yeah, I got some more fires down here too. Is that pieces of people in there, or is that <laughs> is that wood? It looks like it's wood or something. Oh, we're being burned. What's getting us? Let me tell you right now, you get burned in this deck game, you die quick. Like this is just no messing around. There's no playing. All right, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're doing good. Maybe we should do some foam. I wonder. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want a roaster. Oh, we need the foam tip. Never mind. We can't do that. It's changed, which is cool. Now you have to have the foam tip to do foam. What is that? Is that a melted bottle? Or <laughs> I thought it was like an arm or something. When I first saw it, I was like, there's body parts in there. What the heck What's going on? There you go. Got another arm over here on the floor. I right, got that one. Man, another victim. Ah, oh, it'll be kind of a pain. <laughs> this is kind of a pain. When you're by yourself, it's a lot to do, right? Like you got to put the fires out. You got to treat the people. We may just, uh, we may declare them dead or something. I don't know. It gets into being a really long video. <laughs> when you do all this stuff. I try to kind of keep them reasonable now. YouTube likes it better. YouTube likes the reasonable videos better than uh, the really long ones. And it's kind of, it's weird. It's a double-edged sword. Like, YouTube loves uh, watch time. They absolutely love 
watch time. But, uh, you know, when you do a longer video, you get more. I mean, naturally, you get more watch time. I definitely get more watch time with longer videos. But on the flip side, your click-through rate is really low on the longer videos because, like I said, these uh, strangers on YouTube that you don't know, it's really hard to get them to invest 45 minutes of their time to watch a video. Like, there's not a lot of people that are looking for 45-minute videos from someone that they don't know on YouTube and being like, why did we die? Did we run out of air? I think we ran out of air. Yeah, we did. We need a notification for the air. But look at there. There's Rid. I did that to demonstrate to you guys how that works. All right. We're back. Our hand line went away, though. We need to restretch it. They brought us back and uh, they uh, gave us a new tank of air, too. All right. Back at it. Anyway, like I said, the click-through rate on long videos are... are a lot lower because it's hard to convince people to click on a hour long video like for a stranger they just don't want to invest that time so it's a double edged sword you know you trade uh, you trade the watch time off for a higher click through rate in hopes that more people will watch it so hopefully that'll work for us uh, we'll see it seems to be it seems to be it's just the beast it's the beast that is YouTube you know like it's just the way it is all right, let's keep going. <coughs> Man, this place is well involved. What is burning me now? All right, let's keep going. All right, I was wanting to try to do AI, but we can't. I can't get them to spawn in here, so we're just going to have to do this by hand. To do this by hand, we'll get it all put out. All right, we're going to be a little cheaty. We're going to use the fog pattern. Of, co of course, I know, like, it turns it into steam, and then it, it, it'll roast you, but we'll get it out really fast this way. We just don't have any help, and it's a big fire. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Fog pattern would be totally not legit inside like this. All right, that may have it. Man, it's like a maze in here. There you go. Main terminal is now under control. We're good. Smoke's cleared out. Door is going back up. <laughs> they put those doors up so quick. Uh, you better get your tools and stuff out of here fast because uh, they will lock it up and uh, then you won't be able to get your stuff. I literally had to take a uh, an axe and chop the door back down to get my stuff back out. So like if you drop your uh, halligan or something on the ground inside, there ain't no getting it back unless you beat the door down. All right, I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the airport fires. I'll um I'll mess around with them a little bit more and see if I can find anything else. Like I said, I'm just not sure what the current status of this map is as far as like what works, what doesn't, what you know, what's going on with it. Anyway, love all you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll catch you on the airport next time. Peace.